Strip lights give you unprecedented levels of flexibility in how you light your home, but they're not the easiest products to buy as they're not really plug and play lights. There's nothing to worry about, however, because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put together your order for your RGB CCT LED tape. Now, this video has been designed to walk you through the process of buying your LED tape step by step. So feel free to go and put me on pause and add the component that you need to your basket and carry on once you're ready to continue shopping. Now, with any tape installation, it makes most sense to start at the tape itself. So, step one is to measure the length of tape that you need for your space in meters. And be sure to keep a note of it too as this will determine a really vital component later on in the process. It's also worth knowing that we sell LED tape by the meter. So if, for example, you need to order 4.6 meters, you would need to order five meters of tape. Step two is to connect your tape to your chosen controller. Now this is done very easily through six core cable. Now you will get around 10 centimeters of six core cable free with your tape anyway. And for most people, this is enough. But if you do need more, you will need to buy some additional core cable, which we will solder onto the end of your tape for a small additional fee. You'll just need to let us know in the text box when you place your order. Now, you won't be able to get the most out of your RGB CCT tape if you can't control the colors or the brightness, which is why you need a controller in your setup. And this is step three picking out a controller. Now, we have a wide range of controllers and receivers to choose from, but our best and most versatile is our EasyLight 5-in-1 Wi-Fi controller. You can use it with a compatible remote control or with your smartphone, which also lets you use Alexa or Google Assistant. Your six core cable from the previous step inserts into the output end of the controller. The black core inserts into the V plus terminal, the red core into the R terminal, the green green core into the G terminal, the blue core into the B terminal, the white core into the CW terminal, and the yellow core into the WW terminal. Step four is picking out a power supply. And there are two things that are absolutely crucial, the voltage and the max capacity. The voltage is easy. If you're buying our Aeon LED tape, you'll want a power supply that is 24 volts. The max capacity is a little bit more complex, but we can still work out what we need using a simple calculation. All we do is take the length of the tape in meters that we measured at the beginning of this video and multiply it by the wattage of the tape that you need. So let's see how this looks in an actual example. Let's say you need four meters of RGB CCT tape and the tape uses 21 watts per meter. You would multiply four meters by 21 one watts, giving you a total of 84 watts. So for a setup like this, you would need a power supply that is 24 volt and has a max load of at least 84 watts. We'd recommend leaving a leeway of around 10% between the max load of the tape and the maximum capacity of the power supply. This is just to protect the longevity of both the tape and the power supply. Once you know what spec of power supply you need, you've got just one decision left. Plug in, or hardwired. Plug-in is the simplest option and involves using one of our AC-DC power adapters. They plug directly into your EasyLight 5-in-1 Wi-Fi controller and the other end plugs into any standard wall socket and that's it. So let's quickly recap this setup where you have a controller with a plug-in power supply. You'll need your RGB CCT tape, some six core cable, and remember you'll get 10 centimeters as standard with your tape, an easy light five-in-one Wi-Fi controller, and an AC-DC power adapter. If you wanted a hardwired power supply, however, there are a couple of extra bits that you'll need to purchase. The first is some two core cable. This is just like your six core cable, but has two cores instead of six. And you'll also need two of these Wago lever connectors. Here's how it all fits together. The negative core of your two core cable, that's the one with the black band running down the side, inserts into the V minus terminal on the input end of your controller, while the positive core, the plain white one, inserts into the V plus terminal. The ends of the core cable will insert into a Wago lever connector each. Then, the positive cable from your power supply connects to the positive core cable via the Wago lever connector. 
and the negative cable from the power supply connects to the negative core cable via the other Wavo connector. And now the whole thing is ready to be connected to your mains power supply by a qualified electrician and you're done. So to quickly recap this setup where you've got a controller with a hardwired power supply, you'll need your RGB CCT tape, some six core cable, and remember you'll get 10 centimeters as standard with your tape, an easy light five in one Wi-Fi controller, some two core cable, two Wago lever connectors, and finally your hardwired power supply. Now, if you're still having any trouble putting your order together, or if you are looking for setups with multiple runs, or runs longer than 10 meters, you can speak to our team of experts, and they can provide a free, no obligation, bespoke quote for your installation. Just pick up the phone and give them a call on 0116 321-4120 or send them an email to sales at wled.co.uk You can also hit us up on our Facebook or Instagram pages too. Just DM us the word tape and we can basically do all the heavy lifting for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.